Hello everyone and welcome back to today's weapon review. The undercover Wavefring Grenade Launcher has just released as part of the seasonal vendor weapon update and has been picking up steam in terms of being the best Waveframe since Forbearance was released. Now this may seem a bit over the top but when compared to the OG weapon you will see it's not that far off from taking over Forbearance current place in meta. So today we'll go over the pros and cons of the weapon and what to look for god will wise. The Undercurrent is an arc wave thing with a launcher that can be gotten from rotational nightfalls. While its base form is what you would expect from a normal grenade launcher, its adept form provides a big bonus for those who want to access the exclusive mods it can gain access to. Comparing the two weapons side by side will show you why they both look so common to each other but not the same in the end results. The reasons behind why players stay undercurrent may be better than forbearance can be traced to the following. Both weapons' origin traits offer healing after kills, but Undercurrent's version offers healing upon each kill made rather than after X amount of kills made. This means you're staying topped up for health on each kill made rather than the latter. Secondly, Undercurrent's perk synergizes more for the player builds, which overall allows better freedom when selecting key perks for specific scenarios. And lastly, its accessibility allows players with no DLC to easily get a 2.0 forbearance without the need of doing a locked out raid. So while Undercurrent does offer some pros to those who want an easy to access and active grenade launcher that is similar to forbearance, it still has to meet a high bar to reach mainstream popularity. As forbearance has been around much longer than Undercurrent, it does fail to appeal to the wider audience in terms of why you should get it. Although, the weapon puts in a solid attempt that could get some players onto its side. The main draw to forbearance in PvE is Chain Reaction, a perk that pushes the grenade launcher's ad claim potential into exotic levels of potency. Sadly, Undercurrent doesn't feature this trait. However, it does feature a worthy substitute such as Vault Shot to replace this key area. But before we break this down, we first need to see what are the key perks to look out for when trying to get a god roll. Magazine, we have Quick Launch and High Velocity Rounds. For Perk Combo 1, we have Ambitious Assassin and Demolitionist. And Perk Combo 2, we have Volt Shot and One for All. While Undercurrent can't top the ultimate meta pick that Forbearance has, attempting to get as close to there as possible is your best shot, and luckily the weapon can get something similar. Quick Launch, High Velocity Rounds, and Velocity Masterwork are all no brainers, since Velocity is the most important stat here. Ambitious Assassin is the clear choice for general gameplay in the first column since it can grant you 2 rounds in one magazine, while Demolitionist and Left from Gold are both niche but potent as secondary perks to have and keep. For the final column, Vault Shot almost functions as a budget version of Chain Reaction but not on the same scale or damage level that Chain Reaction offers. Vault Shot by comparison has some unique advantages and disadvantages as it requires reloading after a kill below to proc, but the explosion it generates can synergize with the R subclass in a way that Chain Reaction can't. If you instead want something a bit more genreic, one for all and Adrenaline Junkie work well, where a pair of Adrenaline Junkie with Demolitioners can make a deadly combo work out really well. Bait and Switch, which was previously a rare exclusive perk, is in the undercurrent fourth column. It grants a powerful 35% damage boost for 10 seconds and is simple to activate with the only requirements being to apply damage with all three of your equipped weapons within a short time frame. This is perfect for players that don't want to pick up Volt Shot either because they don't want to run Arc or they need that extra base damage output to deal with the tankier targets. Overall, Undercurrent is a nice and upcoming grenade launcher that I can see most newer or current players picking up simply because of how easy it is to get and farm over time. With its slightly similar perks and their depth form, it does offer the more endgame players flexibility when traversing certain hardcore content. However, as Forbearance has been in the game for longer, the Undercurrent already has a large hole in the community to which I don't see players moving away from anytime soon. If the weapon came out at the same time as Forbearance did, then I could see the two being on equal ground. But as that isn't the case, it falls behind with excelling the same way that Forbearance does. I do recommend you get one, but if you already have a crafted Forbearance on chance, you're better off using that instead. 
So there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. It was great to share today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.